everybody, it's Crazy Van Gogh Shabby. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, I'm back from the wedding. It's currently 1.40 in the morning, and I'm still in the glam of the wedding apart from this. I changed all of my dress and my heels because my feet were hurting and I'm tired. But I wanted to react to this because I wanted to avoid all spoilers. Luckily, I haven't been on the internet. And we are here, of course, for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the finale where what's the name i can't say it it is one world one people and it's 52 minutes which is <clears throat> a little strange because last week we got like an hour um and i was totally surprised by that but i'm excited to see the conclusion but also the man as uh captain america obviously sam wilson we've been waiting for it and i first of all i apologize if my talking is a little bit weird I didn't drink, but um, when I go to these sort of events, I don't know, I get like drunk off happiness sort of thing. I don't, I don't drink alcohol, so that's why, um, like maybe occasionally like one wine, but today I didn't drink any alcohol. Um, but yeah, if I sound a little bit weird, it's probably because I'm tired and also drunk off happiness. So yeah, don't mind me. But let's jump straight into this. I'm so excited, haven't seen anything, and I'm ready for the ride and the finale of this amazing, amazing show. So let's just get to it. Oh, the cinematography for this. Oh, it's amazing. God damn. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Captain America! Oh no. Here we go, Sam. You got this. Uh Oh, uh, Sharon. Yeah, we know that Sharon's up to some Oh yeah, because just pausing it quickly. Um I rewatched the last episode and I realized that Sharon was obviously the one that <clears throat> could have tipped off I can't remember the guy who's fighting Sam, but she it sounded like it was him, so I think she tipped him off to work with Carly. Um, so I think that she's responsible for that. So I'm not sure who's she working for, if she's working for herself or not, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm intrigued to see whether Sharon is either good or bad, because we have seen in the comics that she is sometimes with Hydra. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, it would be cool to see if she was in Hydra, but I don't, I don't think so, but it could be in the books, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, sorry, I... What is that? Electrics or explosion? Oh! Oh my god! <gasps> yes! Oh my god! Oh! Yes, Sam! Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, the cinematography! Oh! Oh my, that was sick. Guys, that was freaking sick. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at my man, Sam. Oh. Guys, this means so much. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Good on him. There's a little bit of good left in him at least. To keep the Captain America name. Oh, okay. Mm, this ain't gonna go good. <gasps> yes! Yes, Sam, my boy! Oh, yes! <laughs> There you go! I knew it. She is the power broker. Shit, that's a good twist. Oh, yes! Oh, oh Sam! Oh shit, she made it. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh! <gasps> Carly! Oh, I feel bad for her though. I know what she was doing was wrong, but I was hoping she'd live. Jesus, Sharon is the power broker though. I only sort of thought of that, like, last watching the last episode and this episode, like, halfway through, I was like, it has to be her. Oh, Sam. Oh, that's such beautiful imagery. Oh my god. <gasps> I know there are millions of people out there who are going to hate you for it. Even now, here, I feel it. Oh. The only power I have. That I believe we can do better. Yes, King. <laughs> oh, look at these turds. Oh, he touched the shield. Yes. Oh, my God, the Captain America. Oh my god, my boy! <gasps> They're also going to the raft! They're gonna get them out of there. Even without Kali, there's gonna be these guys hanging around- WHAT?! <gasps> oh my god, Zemo! His name. How is his wife approving of the star? Didn't she see what he did? Well, of course she would support him because that's his. <gasps> oh, Bucky's going to see that man from the first episode. Oh, look at that handsome face. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know why I'm getting really emotional about that, but goddamn. That's so lovely. After everything he went through, all oh, sad. Oh god, I'm ugly crying. No. Co-workers, best friends, yay! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, heck yeah! Oh, that was so good! Oh, oh shit! Ah, oh, this is the photo that got released. Shit. Oh no! I feel sad! Obviously, we're, I'm just gonna quickly finish talking about what I was talking about, which is obviously about Sharon. But I'm not sure if she works for Hydra. Sorry, I'm going. I'm just scratching my foot. It's really itchy. Um, But I'm not sure if she's working for Hydra. I'm guessing she's just working still for Madripoor as the power broker. That's sick that she's the power broker. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's may maybe, I don't think so though, but it's obvious that she wants to sell stuff no matter the cost. She doesn't care. Like, you know, she gets full pardon, you know, that little like facade of being like, oh, I'm so happy to be back. And then, you know, taking advantage of it and obviously selling all this information. 
Oh, I'm guessing we're going to see her again. We're obviously, I think, we're going to see Zemo again. I'm really sad about the Flag Smashers because I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. They're not finished yet. And then Zemo obviously blew them up, which was kind of cool, which is sort of like his last hurrah sort of thing, even though like no one knows he had something to do with it. That's pretty sick. And just downright Zemo written all over it. Um, But yeah, going to the main plot of it all, I... I'm so happy that we got this finale. Like, it was so good. And this show has been fabulous. It's been so good. And, oh my god, just this whole episode in terms of action, in terms of, like, pacing, incredible. Um, I do think it was a bit awkward. Not awkward in the sense, but I think it was a bit weird that John. Walker suddenly started helping. I guess that was sort of like another like humane instinct in him sort of wanting to help people to a certain degree or at least save them or at least save his name as John Walker. Um, I just found it a little bit weird. I would have thought like he would have gone after Carly and really like like really run after her especially even when they were like sort of like doing that whole like sneak around sort of thing. I would have loved for John to be the one to sort of, like, either get the last blow. But I am sort of, like, happy that Sharon did because that was the whole feud between the Power Broker and Carly. And she did eventually, like, you know, the Power Broker did get her a revenge. That's so funny because, obviously, <laughs> Emily Van Kemp, who plays Sharon, has a show called Revenge. So, <laughs> but anyway... She did get her revenge, which is sort of good, but I don't know. It felt weird that John was suddenly helping, but at the same time, it sort of makes sense because he was trying to at least save his name, but now he has become, uh, the US agent? Is that what it's called? Um, and that's going to be interesting because obviously the serum has made him, and this is the thing, a lot of people think, like, the serum sort of makes him, like, really agitated and violent all the time, but it's not to that degree. Like, obviously, like, there, there is that saying, obviously saying like, you know, like a good man changes into so-and-so, obviously from uh, Erskine, who is obviously the guy who created the serum. But I'm guessing it sort of has like that sort of flow um, in terms of like desires and, you know, wants and needs and stuff. So I guess it changes. But I don't know, if I, I found it weird that Bucky was so chill to sort of hang with John and then, you know, go and get the flag smashes together. But at the same time... I don't know. I'll, I'll brush that aside because it wasn't a big deal. But at the same time, I was like, no, that sounds that feels a bit weird. But at the same time, it so it makes sense for the situation. Now on to the big moment. Sam wearing that incredible suit and being the like the Captain America we've needed was so good. And oh, guys, like, I cannot even describe, like, how proud it made me to watch this show and to see him. And the representation, you know, this is a first off, and I know people want it perfect the first time, but for this, like, what they've done was a great start. And I hope to see more content like this from them in the future. I want more stuff talking about racism, politics, all this stuff. This is the stuff I love in shows, and I get really happy to see it because it's like, Because, you know, like, people are like, oh, politics, you know, don't get involved. But it's like, you know, politics surrounds us. So it's like, talk about it. So that's why I love that it's involved in the show. And in a degree sort of mirrors the world as it is. I love that. And I love the whole thing with Sam. And just, he's my Captain America. Oh, God. I'm just so happy. And just this show was incredible. And I hope we do get a season two. People are obviously like, wanting a season two, and it's open, like, it seems like they've sort of left it on an open note to see, like, if it does get the success it gets, that we possibly could get a season two, but yeah, anyway, I'm, I have to finish the video because the battery's about to die. Hi y'all, coming from my really shitty camera because unfortunately my camera died, but, um, I wanted to say as well, just quickly, Um, how amazing this cast was. Anthony Mackie, you were absolutely incredible. But obviously, I have to also say, um, Bucky, like Sebastian Stan, like as usual, I love him playing Bucky just because he's so good at it. And just, he always, again, he always can act with just emotion. He doesn't need words. And there's so many moments in the show, even in this episode, where it's just emotion 
and there's no, you don't need words, and oh, he's so good. And I know that the show has been like obviously sent in for like Emmy nominations. I pray that they get like nominations for the characters because they're so good, so talented, and they deserve it. So I hope that both um I was about to say Sam, Anthony, and um uh, Sebastian get nominated, but also the girl who played Carly. I know she's from uh Solo, Solo. Yeah, she was from Solo, I'm pretty sure. She was fantastic. When I found out she was in the show, I was like, oh, she's going to be really good. But she blew me away. Like, even in this episode, like, so good every time. And just, as Carly was, fab like, fabulous every time. And just kept shocking me every time I came back to see her as a character. So... She did amazing, and all the Flag Smasher actors and actresses did incredible. The stunt team, guys, good job. You guys were so incredible. And also, just this whole production. Like, I again, I was saying it, but unfortunately the, the camera was running out of battery and I had to rush it a little bit. But, again, I know, like, the writing isn't perfect, but for a first go-around as a show... Like, there is more to learn from this show. Um, and I hope that Marvel do take it on. And, you know, they take it on and they, they like, improve the scripts. They improve the pacing. Maybe include a few more episodes um, to help the pacing. Um, but absolutely fantastic. Um, just, you know, you know, there are issues with the, sh with the series overall. But, like, if you take all that away, oh, my God. God, you have such a, an amazing show, and it's so good. And, like, I hope we get a season two, like I said before. This show is incredible, it pushes the boundaries, and please, Marvel, don't be afraid to do more shows like this, because, yes, you weren't perfect on the first go, but learn from your mistakes in terms of pacing, writing, and all that stuff, and take it on the chin and make more shows like this, because people want to watch this. We want to see more, you know, adult, sort of like adult-related content, because this is, you know, very political, and, you know, a lot of kids will sort of, like, won't really care about that. They'll only, like, look at the big moments. I think when they're older, they'll understand. But, you know, we'll make more content like this, please, because it's so good, and we want more of it. <laughs> And also, we've got to talk about Wyatt Russell. Dude, he also <laughs> deserves a nomination for at least Best Supporting Role because it, as a male actor because he was so good and just so talented and played John beautifully. And also, I realised that he's the son of Kurt Russell. And I was like, oh my god, like, that family's so freaking talented. Like, how? Um, but it runs in the family. But... Oh, he deserves it. And just, he acted the role out so well. He understood the assignment. <laughs> and just, oh, it's so hard to play a character like that. And even for him, he said, like, you know, he himself, like, idolizes, like, Chris Evans as Captain America. So to play, like, the villain as Captain America or, like, the anti hero, like, oh, so good, and he deserves all the awards, so I hope at least he gets a nomination, and he even gets a win, because he was so good in this show, and I cannot wait to see more of him throughout the Marvel Universe, whenever that may be. So, thank you guys so much for watching, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the last episode, the finale of season one, hopefully, and the, and hope there's more, of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or should I say, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, um, Please uh, leave your comments below if you liked the episode. I have to end it now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bangle out. Woo! <laughs>